Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Craftinoon Tea. So today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make this toilet roll bumblebee. So all you're going to need is a toilet roll, um, some paint, yellow paint preferably. Um, I've used acrylic, you can use poster. Um, and if you don't have paint, perhaps you can use some pens that you've got around the house. Um, some card for the wings. I've got some wool, um, but you can use string as well to make the legs and some googly eyes. So follow me through step by step and I'll show you how to make one for yourself. Don't forget to share your makes with us and hope you enjoy this craft. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need to paint our toilet roll yellow um, for the base of the bee. So I've just got some acrylic paint here and I'm just gonna give it a good old coat. Um, all the way around as much as possible. Good thing of acrylic paint is it dries quite quickly. So just be careful not to apply it too thickly otherwise that will take a while to dry. Okay, so we're going to leave that to stand um, so it will dry, it shouldn't take too long. And join me in a few seconds and I'll show you how to add the details to your bee. So, see you in a sec. Okay, for the next stage we're going to need to add the bumblebee stripes. So I've just got some black paint and I'm just going to go around my toilet roll. Again, it's acrylic paint and um, dries quite quickly. Be careful not to get it all over your hands. So I'm going to give him two stripes. I'm going to hold it in the middle. Less fear of getting my fingers in the paint and smudging it all over my bumblebee then. Okay, so again, pop this to the side, leave it to dry and we'll come back and add all the details to our bumblebee. See you in a sec. So welcome back. Our bumblebee is now nice and dry, or almost dry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got some white card here and I'm going to cut two little wings out of it. They don't need to be matching, but you can draw around the other one if you want to make them. size it up make sure yep yeah, there's one you can draw it freehand I'm just gonna cut them out straight away um, or you can get a template online if you're not too confident with drawing them but they're pretty much symmetrical so I'm gonna put my card to one side so what I'm going to do is squidge my bumblebee down because we need it to be quite flat. And I've also got some googly eyes. So let's put the eyes on first. That always helps. So I've got a glue gun. Oh, that one's not got any eye in it. Just because the glue gun sticks it much quicker. You can use PVA though, or a glue stick. Just be prepared to sit there for a bit longer. So I'm putting my eyes on. You can draw your eyes if you don't have googly eyes. You can use some paper and a biro just to... But there you go, there's my googly eyes. So now I've got that on. Just give it a press. It's not completely dry, so I'm just trying to be careful where I press. And I'm going to put my wings on. 
for it. Let's put a bit of glue here. And a bit of glue. and you can bend them up if you like. Wait for them to dry just to set though and before you start moving them otherwise they'll fall off. Okay so now we just need to give them some little legs. So what I've got for this stage is I've got some wool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half so I'm going to lay him on top like so make it a bit smaller because I don't need it that long. I'm going to cut two runs of this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I fold it in half like so and the same again for this one. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on the strip. And we're just going to let that set for a minute. I don't want to press it down because I'll end up burning my finger. That's the only downside of a glue gun. It gets super, super hot. Doesn't matter if it's not even, gives it more character, I say. I've got a pencil here, so I'm just going to use the pencil to push it down to secure it in place. Okay, so now we've got our legs. So I'm just going to snip this end. I'm going to snip them down a little bit. Oh, because they're quite long. There we go. So give your bee a little squeeze either end. You can glue it down if you want. Oh, I've got a bit of paint there, but that's fine. Then we have our little bee. You can add some antennas as well if you've got pipe cleaners. Um, I don't have any pipe cleaners, so I'm just going to leave him as he is. But there you go. Hope you've enjoyed making this little craft of us. Pop him in the garden, perhaps. Um, you know, you could fill it with some bird seed as well. Um, make it two jobs in one. So, hope you've enjoyed making this craft of us. And don't forget to share your makes with us. See you again soon for another crafting in tea. Take care. Bye for now.